Hey Leos, welcome to your February general reading. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do personal readings and my email is in the description as always guys, so feel free to check out the description box. I will leave information about all the decks of cards I use in each video, okay guys? So let's see what we have going on with you guys. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Okay, we have um, the two of forces, the king of keys reversed, and archangel Michael here. So the willow. Um, what's, that's the king of keys and archangel Michael card number nine there. Okay, so... Um, I feel this is about yourself um, with it being card number nine. Um, I feel like you've done a lot deep, of deep rooted work. Things that was um, deep within you maybe came to the surface after a relationship ended or somebody left your life. Maybe um, you was triggered by this person exiting your life here. Um, you needed support from... Um, the divine at this time so you needed to be loved protected by the divine at this time so it could have meant that um you was blocked by somebody or you felt blocked on your relationship front okay um and i, I feel like it's because this what was deep rooted in you um maybe it was even from a past life issue or child Hood issue as we have children here um, needed to come to the surface so that you could clear this now okay um, but with this Archangel Michael coming in this position I feel like you're in a new cycle now so this would be your past cycle um, deep-rooted issues um, triggered by somebody leaving you so now that you're on your own here um, you've started a new cycle so whether it was to do with family, work or a romantic relationship, um, you may have had to leave a job or, you know, to free yourself from um, any sort of fear, but was actually holding you back. So maybe fears like I'll have to stay in this job because I can't pay my rent or, you know, we all have to earn money. If I was to follow my dreams, maybe I couldn't, um, you know, pay the rent. So I see that you're in a new cycle now whatever it was okay a lot jumping out there straight away as well the arc of the covenant here one of my favorite things to learn about so maybe some of you are learning about that with the king of scrolls looking at ancient texts ancient information here um and the two of keys the treasure yeah like this is the treasure of all treasures so this new cycle that you've entered into it's like being able to find yourself, okay? Learning that you are the treasure. It's like, you know, when you go on um, the hunt looking for something, but you find yourself and you're like, I was the treasure the whole time. It seems like that, like kind of a movie, like, um, you know, it was within me all the time. It's like, <laughs> you know, in a movie where somebody has it on them, what they're looking for. That's what I'm feeling here. You might have set out looking for somebody else or something else, but you find yourself and it's the greatest treasure of all. It leaves you in very high vibrations, okay? Um, only a few people get to, um, was able to carry this. You know, it had to be covered. They couldn't even look at it or they would die. Um, so I feel like, you know, you've got some very valuable information here that's going to help you in this next cycle, this next phase of your life here. You might even start writing about something and that's sort of your new career sort of thing. I don't know, maybe even um, blogging or something like that that you might start doing that leads you into this new cycle. But you're also in a new relationship cycle here, okay? So in order for you to move forward into new relationships, you first had to find yourself. We often hear love yourself first, but I feel like you've got to know yourself because when we go through these spiritual breakdowns, we build ourselves up as new people, right? So it's like getting to know who you want to be and who you are now after, 
you know, gaining this power, you know, this is um, the most powerful thing on earth, the, um, the Ark of the Covenant here. So, yeah, I feel like you could just be feeling very much in your power right now. Like, you've got the treasure. It's like the cat that got the cream here. So, this was like, you was looking for this secret you know, the Ark of the Covenant, the secret treasure here. Um, but you found it and you found it within yourself. I mean, it may have took a lot of learning here, but you're much more clear minded. It could be the fact that we're in Aquarius season. There's a lot more higher learning going on because not only Aquarius season, but we're in the time of Aquarius where a lot more people will be waking up. So you could find yourself having conversations that are very deep and mythical and mysterious, things like that. Um, and I feel like you might, you feel like you found the answer to some ancient, you know, um, mystery or something here. But it's wonderful to be able to find yourself. And that's the key here. You had to go through what you went through um, on your own so that you could get to this place. So you may have felt like people let you down when you needed them. People walked away and left you. But it had to happen this way so you could find this treasure, which is you. You know, you had to take this part of your journey on your own to get to this point. So you could just be in different terms, ascended here now. You know, you've learned a lot of valuable spiritual lessons. But you've gained a lot of knowledge. Um, if you haven't, during February, you'll gain a lot of clarity um, to this puzzle. Whatever's puzzling you, you're going to find the answer here. Wow, what did I say? You're in a new relationship cycle. So... Um, passions will be rising here um, and you've been through this powerful transformation so you're obviously going to attract in somebody very powerful as well okay don't be afraid um, to acknowledge how you feel about somebody don't be you know I don't feel like you are I feel like you're very strong and powerful at this time okay um, I, I just feel like if you strive for the best it's like you get it. It's like somebody finally gets, okay, Jesus said it. Your word is your wand. And you just manifest so easily now. And I feel like without even knowing, you're going to manifest this meeting. You're going to meet this person and it's going to be like, it could be um, another Aries because I just did Aries and it was um, kind of similar. Um, but yeah, I just feel like this strong um, undeniable, powerful being that you are now that you're just manifesting everything into your life. It's a great time for you to do this, okay? A great time for you to strive in clarity, in communication, in saying what you want to get said and getting it across very eloquently, okay? It could be like um, negotiations, like should we get married? Should we join our um, finances? Things like that, um, you know, things involving um, commitment. Eight of scrolls, paths unknown. So I do feel like um, you will be, um, you feel like I don't know which path to take, but just trust your intuition here. You've come so far. You have the power here to manifest whatever path you want. You can take any of these paths and, you know, you're going to be right here. It's like on the surface, you may be like asking or trying to reevaluate um, significant intimate relationships or commitments. But um, it's just like more than I feel like unknown, I'm feeling like, hmm, what do I want? So I feel like that's you, Leo. What do I want? Where shall I take myself in the future? And you have enough power to put behind this and manifest whatever it is you want. Okay? Whatever it is you want. Whichever path you take, you'll meet this person. Whichever path you take, you'll, be fi you'll find your treasure. 
because you're manifesting it now. You're a deliberate manifester. You're not like leaving it up to chance. You're knowing what you want and you're going for it. So don't um, spend too much time thinking, oh, which path? Because you're at a time where if you just, whichever one you take, you're going to be successful. I know um, the moon will go into Gemini, so um, you might be quite flirty and things like that, Leo. And this is why you're just going to bump into somebody and it's just going to be like you knew each other your whole life. It's, yeah, the, um, the Archangel Raphael. It seems like all major angels are supporting um, you at this time. Somebody's guiding um, this person towards you and an angel's guiding you towards this person as well. You may be, see this A8, this abundance that we have going on for you right now. Um, the seventh being, being your um, house of relationships, marriage, things like that. Things will go good for you right now if you just know. Like when we're talking about manifest, we like we know it's going to happen. So we don't stress that it won't happen. That's like a deliberate manifester. Like I know um, this money's coming my way. This relationship's coming my way. All this abundance is coming my way. It's like looping back around to you now after you've done the hard work, right? After you spent this time alone, after you did this hard work alone, um, it's it's time now. You're in a new cycle for um, new relationships or um, moving forward. I, the full moon will be in Leo on the 8th of February as well. So it's in your sign. So do you see how um, it's supporting you? And we see that here with the angels showing. It's like the constellation is supporting you. The, your guides are supporting you here. The two of forces, it's decision time. You know, um, don't wait for life to come to you. You go after your life here and deliberately manifest what it is you want because you have this abundance. What did I say about these eights? Look, there's all these new people wanting to come into your life now. Your soul family. Um, people supporting you within your community. You're going to feel really supported and so much abundance if you're seeing 888. Like I said, I think an Aries just like had this video and theirs was... 333 three, three. and it was about unity coming together and building and working with somebody and I just feel like you know for some it's going to be um, an Aries Leo connection here it doesn't really matter about signs but I just feel like there's going to be like a fire fire connection you have some great things now you may be um, having some plans to build a new home um, maybe even like I don't know, you're going to find something that's worth a lot of value. And I just feel like the most valuable thing is within ourselves. You may have already found that. If you have, good luck. You're about to have some huge abundance coming into you here as well. Okay, good luck, Leos.